In this Framer tutorial, we will learn how to set up a responsive card layout in three minutes using grids. If you want to use the same file I'm working in, you'll find it in the link in the description. Now, I like to start by creating the items I want to use in my grid. And to prevent the card layout from breaking once thrown into the grid, I'm gonna use stacks and specific sizing options for these cards. First, I create a frame, I give it some radius, and I call it card. Then I create another frame inside of this frame. I'll call it image. After that, I'll create two text fields, one saying headline, bump it up to medium, and I'll duplicate this and say body, bump it down a bit, give it some opacity. I'll target both of the text fields and create a stack, align them to the left, decrease the gap a bit, and I'll call it text container. Then I'll go to the overall card. I'll go to layout and hit plus, which makes it into a stack. I make sure that it fits the content vertically and that it has a fixed width. Then I'll go to the image, make sure that the width is set to fill and I'll set a number for the height. Then I go to the text container, make sure that it has width set to fill. I'll give it some padding and then I'll set the height to fit content. The last thing I'll do is to go to the card and remove the gap. And that's it for the actual card. If you find stacks and sizing difficult, I got a dedicated video on it in the top right. Now to give this some color, I'll just change the image here. Now with this, the next step is to add the items into the grid. So I'll zoom out, I'll go to the desktop and I'll make it into a stack. I'll give it a slight grayish background color. I'll add a frame inside of the stack. I'll turn it into a grid, remove the background color. Then I'll simply copy my card, target the grid and paste in my items. I'll go to desktop, make sure it has a height of fit content. Then I'll go to grid, make sure that it has a height of fit content. Now you can see that everything becomes squeezed. So with my grid selected, I'll go to the advanced settings here and change height from fixed to fit content. I'll change the gap and the padding to 24 pixels. I'll go to the plus sign here on desktop, hit tablet, then plus sign on tablet, hit phone. And you can see that we have a working grid. Now we can select the grid again. And now we can start playing around with columns. Three columns per row, two columns per row, one column per row. You're the boss here. We can also go to individual cards inside of the grid, go to span and say that maybe this one should take up two columns. We can even go back to the grid, say that we're gonna have every row to contain three columns. Then I can go to the last item here, change that to two columns. And we have this kind of cool bento card layout. If you want to scale up even more in Framer, check out my master Framer playlist. Until the next one, have a great life.